Hello, yes, defend Europe ship, Sea Star is it? It's heading now as I speak to the Mediterranean, according to the latest update on the Generation Identity Facebook page. But like I've said before, what really can this ship and its crew achieve? According to the link I've left below, their aim is to patrol the Libyan coast, help the Libyan coast guards, uh, also to intercept any NGOs and uh, that are collaborating with human traffickers that are bringing migrants across the Mediterranean illegally. Also to sink MC1s, uh, the people smuggler uh, boats and vessels that are left empty, they're going to sink them so they can't be used again. They'll also have an SOS system, I'm not quite sure how that works, where anyone who S SOSs them and that's in trouble, they'll pick them up but take them back to Africa. Now who's sailing to Africa to defend your blood? Or they passing them to someone else? I mean, this is all nonsense. And also, this is the big one. It's going to cost something like $3,000 a day to finance the ship and its crew. Who's paying for that? After 100 days, how much is that? $300,000. Who's paying for that? Well, it will exactly. It's just a non-starter. But like I've said, our enemies are behind all this. Not the uh, well-meaning activists and... Uh, why racial nationalists that are being suckered into this nonsense and ludicrousness, identi identitarianism and the I I I identity movement, right? The leaders like Richard Spencer and many others that proclaim to be um, identitarians or whatever you want to call themselves, and all of, they're working for the enemy, there's no doubt in my mind, and those behind this ship will be. And it's amazing how they've raised that money, isn't it? Don't you think that money would have been better spent in whatever country, building, buying or whatever, a headquarters for the movement, you know, that they've got, it's theirs in bricks and mortar. Would it have been better spent on a, you know, venture like that or even helping the Front National or whatever, right? But sailing off to the Mediterranean, you cannot stop the migrant flood coming across now from wherever. It's like putting your finger in a base dam trying to stop it. The only way we're changing this is by voting the fuckers out in whatever countries we reside, France, you know, Sweden, Britain, whatever. That's the only way we're going to do this and we can do it, right? We still can, right? We can do it on the backdrop of electoral wins, successes, victories, where we build a mass movement again, have a voice, a very, a very big and loud one, right? That's the way we do this. You can't do it by trying to stop migrants crossing the Mediterranean. It, it's just nonsense. And given hope not hate really making a big issue out of this, there's two things that it tells me that they'll be, they'll have some input in all this. They'll be behind it with, with whoever else. And also, they'll probably be waiting for the tragedy that's about to unfold because something's going to because like i've said if it's three thousand dollars a day that's not sustainable the white nationalist movement doesn't have money like that you know it doesn't right so that's not sustainable and like i've said how many migrants do you think they're going to be able to stop that would impact on saving europe and with impact on the masses of Numbers, thousands, hundreds of thousands or whatever that are making the way to Europe. How many do you think they could stop a day? 50? 100? It's a non-starter, but like I've said, our enemies are behind all this. They create these little play playpens, have you all marching round in circles, Tommy Robinson style or the Football Lads Alliance style. Or in this case, having you sailing round the Mediterranean like Captain Bugwash. Right? It's just nonsense and there's sensible nationalist leaders that know it is but are not saying anything. David, Dr. David Duke, he's telling everyone to donate to it. Now he's not an idiot but he wouldn't think so. Yeah, he knows that venture is doomed to fail. Of course it is, we all know it is. Yeah, he's telling people to donate and it's bizarre, baby he wants to be more popular. So we can sell more books about the secret behind communism is it or whatever. Who cares? You see, nationalist leaders, right, real genuine ones, they need to face up to the awful truth that's now facing us. We're in a mess. And we're in a mess because we're letting the enemy, right, run, us, run rings round us. That's what he's doing. This, in this case, he's running us round the Mediterranean. You'll have to forgive me for slurring my words. It's getting a bit late now and I've... Uh, been very busy today so I'm getting tired but anyway uh, you know 
we have to face up to the awful truth no matter how much it hurts us, how much it may even make us look silly. We all make mistakes, we just got to deal with them and correct them so we don't do make them again. But some nationalist leaders won't. They can't. It's, it's beneath them to apologise. It's beneath them to say they've made a mistake. It's beneath them to say that still uh, on the same dead end course of action, which is getting us nowhere. Also on a final note, I don't really want to do this. It's childish nonsense, but... I won't say where or whatever, but I've had a post on a certain Facebook page and I got criticised because I criticised someone having a silly pseudonym, it was Whitefire66. I used the pseudonym this time because I've had to, I've had to close my Facebook account because I'm getting inundated with so much crap and shite by the enemy to just tie me up, frustrate me, annoy me. The same with me emails, now I'm getting inundated with hundreds of spam emails and again it's the time me up i'm a one-man band in all this remember so i've changed it which i'll probably have to change that now the enemy will probably find out but remember this white fire 66 the silly pseudonym the silly meaningless pseudonym white fire 66 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. is that the, that's the mark of the devil but anyway six six right you, you imagine the average person reading your articles, then going into work or wherever and say there's a great article there on the internet, Facebook or on some blog. It's by a guy called Wi-Fi 66 They'd look at you like you're round the bend. And that's true, you know they would. So, you know, when there's a bit of criticism, you've got to, you've got to accept it. I've used the pseudonym because I've had to this time because I'm fed up people sending me messages Joe Owen's Facebook page. I've had to change it to a different one. I'll probably have to change it again now. But I'll wait and see. But some of these people, like the maid of Kent, imagine going into work Monday morning. Oh, great article there on the internet by the maid of Kent. Hey, the maid of Kent. Or White Fire 66, the lucky like you around the bend. Or Knights Templar, you'd think it was something to do with Alistair Crowley. Our side now needs to face up to the awful truth, the comedy sketch that is now white nationalism the world over, not just British nationalism. And the latest comedy sketch is uh, defend Europe, sending a ship out onto the Mediterranean, doing what? Trying to stop migrants, it's impossible. And like I've said, who's financing it? Who's indefinitely financing it? Is this going to take more money out of the hard-working nationalist coffers that people donate and put in are they going to be squeezed and squeezed and squeezed till this project fails then there's more demoralization people then don't give no more and people are getting fooled and conned like i've said the only way forward for now is electoral politics for now there is nothing else at least with electoral politics we have a voice look at the front national look at pauline hansen They've got elected officials and they have a voice. We've got nothing. Tommy Robinson, march her up and down like the old, the old, Grand, Duke of, the old Grand Duke of York. And march her into the pub and march her out the pub. They march her down the, down the road home. Achieving nothing. Well, the Football Lads Alliance. Oh, come on. You must be seeing what's happening now to our movement. And some of are still going along with it. Some of are praising the spies. On whatever blogs, Facebooks, whatever, right? And the latest pantomime and circus playpen is setting sail on the Mediterranean to stop migrants crossing. You can't do it. You know you can't, Doctor David. You you know quite well that will fail. It's it's going to fail by default. It cannot not fail because it can't achieve what it's setting out to do. It's not defending Europe. So how many is it going to stop? Thousands? Hundreds of thousands? Well, exactly. How many a day? Two, three, four, ten? Fifty? It's that stupid. But the, our enemies are behind this. Because like I've said, it's to tie up resources, money, manpower, man hours, and also to eventually fail more demoralization. And also, there's this, a tragedy out there waiting to happen that our enemies most certainly will be planning, but we shall see, as Nick Griffin used to say. He may still say that. Okay, thank you. And also, on a final note, don't anyone take anything personal what I say when I'm, I'm cracking jokes and all that. I don't mean it, right? I don't literally mean it, but 
It's just the way I am. Okay, thank you.